How to install the Apaka Buckets mod for Minecraft. Step 1. Visit multitopicblog.com for complete instructions. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. To view detailed instructions, go to multitopicblog.com. Once you are there, click the Minecraft category on the right side. Next, view the article titled How to Install a Pocket Buckets Mod for Minecraft. If you are a parent, there may come a time when your kids ask you to install a mod like a Pocket Buckets on Minecraft. Or, it may be another mod that has tsunamis, earthquakes, tornadoes, weather or other disasters. I'm not 100% sure what the Minecraft developers were thinking, but installing a mod can be frustrating, mainly due to the wide variation in tutorials out there. Some are out of date. Others are loaded to the gills with spammy links. The goal of this article is to once and for all, walk you through how to install the Apaka Buckets mod on Minecraft, without all of the confusion and headaches. If you are a kid reading this, the tutorial will also work for you too. We will do our best to eliminate all of the crazy links you usually see out there or at least help you avoid them as much as possible. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. What is the Apaka Buckets mod? You may wonder what is Apaka Buckets in the first place? It's a cool mod that has several buckets that let you unleash destruction on your Minecraft world. The buckets include Tsunami, Apocalyptic, Void, Fire, Black Hole, Toxic, Frozen white paint, and purple paint. Pretty cool, eh? If you have any questions at any time, feel free to leave a comment below. Step 2. Install Minecraft Java Edition if you haven't already. Install Minecraft Java Edition for Windows. Please note, the instructions for Apple Macintosh are pretty similar, but will require a separate tutorial at a later date. Important to note that Apaka Buckets is a mod and not an add-on. There is a difference. Mods are for the Java edition. Add-ons are for the Windows 10 version of Minecraft that you can download from Microsoft Store. So if you are trying to install this for the Microsoft Store version, you're out of luck. To install Minecraft Java edition, go to minecraft.net slash anna slash download. Currently it's the big green button at the top of the page. Step 3. Download Minecraft Forge 1.7.10. Install Java first. Download Minecraft Forge 1.7.10. This is a base mod that allows you to run other mods with. A mod loader they call it. You will download this file first and we'll install it in a later step. Currently, you can download it from this site at www.mcmod.net slash Minecraft Forge. The file name should be Forge 1.7.10 installer.jar. Be careful not to click on any weird links and make sure your security software is running and you will be fine. To avoid clicking on spammy links, take a look at these screenshots. So, go to mcmod.net slash Minecraft Forge, scroll down and click the for Minecraft 1.7.10, installer.jar, file. After downloading, the Forge 1.7.10 installer.jar file should be in your downloads folder on your PC. You can leave it there or move it to your desktop or another location for now. There's one more step before you install it. Watch this video closely to see how I did these steps and I'll be right back. Seriously. I'm not kidding. I'll be back shortly. Step 4. Install Java If you haven't installed Java on your PC yet, you will need to in order to proceed any further. Java is a free and trusted download you can get at java.com slash n slash download.
Go ahead and do that now and I'll be right back. Here's what it looks like when you install Java on your computer. Step 5. Install Minecraft Forge. Go back to the file you downloaded in Step 3. This is the forge1.7.den installer.jar file. Double click to install. You will need to be logged in as admin on your PC if you aren't already. It will give you the option to install client, install server or extract. You should select install client and click OK. Finish the installation and proceed to the next step. Here's what the installation process looks like. Step 6. Create a custom Minecraft installation. Thankfully, we are almost done with this BS. Now you need to make a custom launch option using Forge. Go ahead and launch Minecraft Java Edition. Once the main screen opens, click on the installations menu at the top. Then click the link that says new with the plus sign icon next to it. The first field is called name. Type a pocket buckets or any other name you will remember or prefer. Under the name field is a drop down menu called version. Click this drop down menu and you will likely need to scroll all the way to the bottom to select the version called Forge 1.7.10. Next click the green create button in the lower right corner. Boom! Just like that you are officially done. Keep watching and I'll return shortly for the final steps. Step 7. Download the Apocabuckets mod file for Minecraft Forge 1.7.10. Oh yeah! I forgot there is another step. Now you need to download the Apocabuckets mod file. Download the Apocabuckets mod file for Minecraft 1.7.10 at 9 minecraftnet slash mod slash. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Look for for Minecraft 1.7.10 and the red download from server 1 link below it. You will need to scroll down quite a bit past all of the screenshots. The download link will open a page that likely has several ads on it. To download the actual Apaka Buckets mod file you will click on the blue download icon with the orange arrow on it. Save this file to your downloads or other folder you can access shortly. Step 8. Copy the Apaka Buckets mod file to the mods folder within Minecraft on your computer. This section of the video shows the instructions for installing the Apocabuckets mod file to your custom Minecraft installation. On Windows, go to lower left corner and click the search field. This is the one with the magnifying glass icon. Type the following in the field and hit enter. Type percent sign up data percent sign. Open the resulting app data folder and then open the mods folder. Next, 
Go back to where the Apaka Buckets mod file was saved and copy that file to the mods folder. Ok, now you should be ready to play Minecraft with the Apaka Buckets mod installed. When you launch Minecraft and click the mods button you should see that the mod has been successfully installed. Here is a little more footage of this part of the tutorial in case you got lost. Ok, for real you are officially done and ready to play. Please note you may need to exit out of Minecraft and restart if it doesn't work the first time. You're done. Launch Minecraft. Launch the Minecraft game and wait for the opening screen to appear. To the left of the green play button is a drop down menu. Click the drop down menu and select the earlier custom installation you created. In my case it was named Apaka Buckets. Now click the green play button. After a few seconds the main menu will appear. You should see text in the lower left corner that displays how many mods are loaded and active. If you wish, you can click the grey mods button to confirm which mods are installed. Now click the single player button and create a new world with your desired settings. I'm not sure if this mod works in multiplayer mode. It may require each computer to have the exact same version of Minecraft and the same version of the mod, but not sure. That's it. The rest of this video will load the game and show some footage of the Apaka Buckets mod in action. To find the Apaka Buckets while in the game, open your inventory and search for the word bucket. If you have any questions, are stuck or need more help installing this mod, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help. If you liked this video please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. Have fun! Free Doctor Disrespect